I'm recording this in order to give you the details as you prepare for your field trip to Teotihuacan and Puebla, which I hope you will enjoy. Um, the teachers from your uh, Global Issues class and Globalization class have designed this activity so that it won't take you much time from your trip and so that you can uh, fulfill the other required um, activities or attention that you need to be having during the trip as it goes on. Since it will be, you will be moving a lot, you will be doing a large number of, of things, visiting a large number of places. Therefore, uh, we, we have taken care so that the instructions allow you to do things um, in order and do things uh, completely without obstructing anymore or letting you uh, lose too much time in your side visit. So let's look at the seven conditions for this very quick activity. So make up your teams for this activity. It can be either couples or trios. However, do notice trios will be having a higher quality bar as they are 50% more members than a couple. So it's up to you to decide. In order to register your teams, you will be asked to tag your classmates in the comments uh, uh, in the comment space under this video. So as you tag them, you, I understand that that is the couple or trio you are making, and that is how it is established. So that's the tale number one. Two, what is it that you will be delivering? Well, you will be delivering either a 20 element infographic or a seven minute video documentary video okay so it's up to you to choose either you make an infographic or you make a documentary video you do not do both you make one or the other I want that to be perfectly clear I don't want it to be any kind of, of pressure from thinking that you actually have to do both but if you want to play a joke on your classmates that never listen to instructions you can tell them it's both um, of course, it should be in English. You may uh, prepare in Spanish if you wish. However, the Remember Spanish uh, assignment will cost you 10 points. Uh, if you need, remember to insert vocabulary that is very specific to the zone or names that are very specific to buildings, you can always do so in Spanish as long as you use in infographic, italic, or you use the uh, different pronunciation in your documentary video. That was just fine. You don't have to translate every single word that is uh, acceptable within the English description of your elements. Okay, so um, place, place names, uh, specific vocabulary that uh, is not very well off when translated, then keep it in the original language. Yes, that is what is adv advisable and that still respects the rule on making it in English. You will choose your topic, that is, either you work on your infographic or video about Puebla or you work in your infographic or video about Teotihuacan. That is, you have four options to make this activity. You can either make an infographic about Puebla or an infographic about Teotihuacan or a documentary video about Puebla or a documentary video about Teotihuacan, okay? So you have four different options. Choose with your couple or trio, with your classmates or your, or, or your, or your, or, or your team, what of which of these four you are making, okay? So there's a lot of different options for you to choose. The guiding question, what you will have to answer, what will be the topic and the title of your infographic or of your documentary video is as follows. Why is the city of blank a UNESCO World Heritage Site? So why is the city of Puebla a UNESCO World Heritage Site in case you choose Puebla? And you will explain that in your infographic or in your video. Or if you choose Teotihuacan, the question is why is the city of Teotihuacan a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which you will answer through your infographic or through your documentary video. Now, please pay attention. There is more than one way to answer this question. I'm not asking you to technically tell me something that you can find in a UNESCO website, but why do you imagine that something 
the things you are going you're about to visit the places you are about to 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 meet face to face the the sites you are about to experience how do they fulfill this very abstract characteristics of world heritage a place that because of itself yes because of what it is because of what it represents because of what it has is considered heritage to the world okay so that is the question the central question for your infographic or your video and your your one city or the other city okay number five conditions for making this the idea is that either the infographic or the documentary media video must be based solely on information you can gather and i mean as you are in the site that means on the one side, all pictures taken that are included in the video or in the infographic must be yours. All videos recorded that, are, that appear in the documentary video or in your infographic, because you can put videos in your infographic, of course, that will actually make a very cool, for a very cool infographic, all must be yours. Yes, you are the one who recorded them. You're not taking nor pictures nor videos from anybody else, okay, from, from any other place. Um, also, the information is uh, that you reflect there, either in your documentary or in your in your uh, infographic, must be info you obtain. You can obtain it either from your the plaques that you see in the site or from your guides. So really, profit from all the information that is around you. And as you go there, try to absorb it. Do pay attention to it so that you can tell it back or you can really put it together into the narrative you are setting. Now, I want to make something very, um, very, very clear. Um, pictures that are taken must be yours. Videos recorded must be yours. However, do take in mind, do take note. Video, cell phone quality, um, picture cell phone quality is acceptable, okay? It is totally acceptable. I don't need you to take any um, to, to go into any trouble for in order to get uh, any professional ca professional camera or any or any expensive device for your free do not do that please yes it is cell phone quality is just fine and if you are worried that one cell phone may be may be lost uh, 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 sorry that that the material of one cell phone may be lost because it, it can get erased or anything then make sure that you have enough evidence enough materials in the cell phones of your couple or trio okay um therefore do make some space before you go yes do make some space before you go make sure you have enough space you have or at least select the best pieces that you are keeping for your uh materials or during the night uh as you get to your to your to your, to your hotel do make a backup okay so those are that is some some important pieces of advice so that you can make a very good material. Then the narrative, uh, either if you choose the video or if you choose the infographic, they must have a narrative. Yes, a narrative is what takes the reader or the spectator through your topic. So that is freestyle. You decide it. You decide if you want it to be very much uh, bloggy, open. Um, that, that that it appears uh, to be to be uh, uh, just made yes or if you want it to be very very paced very academic anything you decide the narrative it's up to you the order it's up to you if you want the way you want to speak you want to narrate it you want to take it the the order you want to take it's up to you but there must be a decibel design and you have a decibel design when you think about it beforehand so as you prepare your trip tonight, as you are getting ready, do think about all these elements. Do think about all the things that you would like to do as you prepare. And please, very, very important as well, do not take, do not take unnecessary risks in order to get your materials. Do not get behind from the group. Do not uh, take any, any, any risky uh, images or any risky uh, video takes, yes? be careful about that okay i trust that you will since well that doesn't add to your points in in, in the end yes um 
and we expect you of course to have the best experience six to submit you must submit a link either to your infographic or to your video in blackboard by monday night next week okay so you have enough time make sure you get back in order to put it together yes don't go through to something too complicated if you be thought about your design beforehand it can be something very um very carefully uh crafted in your mind and as you put it together it will come yes it will come uh, it doesn't need to be very sophisticated but it must have as long as it has the design beforehand you will know what pictures to take what things to write down what things to listen to your guide what uh, videos to actually include there so always be thinking about that as you tour these uh, very important world heritage site by the way the reason we're getting this uh, topic is because both have that in common both of these are unesco world heritage sites and remember as usual the most original ones the best ones will get some extra credit okay so uh, actually if you do have any any question uh, and i will be happy to uh, respond any of your questions yes try to use the the chat you have with me and the rest of your team so that we can so that we can answer the questions to a majority okay uh, with your, the one you have with your formal team uh finally well bon voyage have a very safe trip uh do design originally do think about your design as you as you travel as you prepare do think about it get excited about it think out of the box come with some come up with something that is that is different that is not just the same you're not making just about every single same documentary you're actually making some very uh, interesting material very original material remember there is more than one way to answer the given question yes so i hope you the best i hope you have a great trip as a generation i hope you really enjoy all the opportunities that open up to you and uh, i am just uh, waiting to see you back so that we can comment on what is it that you learned on this very much expected very um, exciting trip you're about to undertake i will miss you a lot on these following days have again a safe trip uh, very uh, a trip with a lot of learning and really profit from these opportunities bye